Okay, today's video is regarding a electric dryer and circuit breakers, 30 amp breakers. This is the connection for the dryer. It's a 240 connection. And let me tell you what happened. The dryer was working and all of a sudden it just stopped. We checked the breaker downstairs, which is this one. And it was blown, like it was um, tripped. So it would, and then I try to reset it. Of course you go off and then you try to reset it. But as you can see this one, it wasn't resetting. So before I took it off, cause I did not know it was the breaker that was bad, or I still don't know. I unplugged the dryer from the outlet. So this breaker, the only thing connected to it was the dryer. After unplugging the dryer, I tried to reset it and it would not reset. So now I know that there was nothing wrong in the dryer that was uh, triggering the breaker to, to um, turn off. So then I un took this cap off to see, make sure that there was no bug or animal that maybe had made a short circuit and there was no bug in there, nothing. So now I know that my wiring is correct. I checked it in the box downstairs and it was correct. Now it's down to the breaker. And that's where I went out, took the old breaker off just to make sure I buy the right one, the correct one. And here's the new one. Now the new one, I don't know if this works with the electric, this little orange thing or not, but the new one, when it trips, it's off. And then to turn it on, of course, you just move it back to the on position. And now you see there's no play. It does not, it stays on the on position. Versus this old one, it just wouldn't reset. So now let's go downstairs to the box and I'll show you how to put this on. And that's how I troubleshoot it to determine where the problem was. Hopefully that is it. So going now down, down to the breaker box and put this new one on. Okay, so we're back in the box and uh, I want to show you how to take it off. Now I am not a professional. So do this at your own risk, but I would advise if you've never done this to turn off the power to the main house. So most breaker boxes will have a off switch that will turn off the power to all your breakers. But even if you turn the that off, keep in mind that these cables coming from the outside, they are still hot. But turning off the power will turn the power off to all your breakers. Um, I have not done that, so, and I I trust on myself. So, also take pictures of. Oops, I guess I can't touch the camera. I'm trying to keep you guys here. Hold on a second. Also keep in mind to remember where all your cables. There's two cables, and then your ground. Um, just take pictures to know where which cable goes where. Now your breaker, in this model, I believe they call this a square D. Uh, it just pulls out. Um, just like that. And then what you do is you get your new one. Open up your screws here. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Because your cable will go in there. And your other cable will go in here. And you try to get it in in that flat area there, those cables. So open it enough to get your cables in freely. And then slide your cables in. Just like that. Once they're slide in, then you, uh, 
tying back the screw back up. And there's no power in here yet on the breaker or the cable itself. Power will be once I put the breaker back in its place. Give it a tug, make sure they won't slide out. And then you put it on the off position breaker. And then, oops, didn't mean to touch you guys again. I got my camera set in a bucket. And now I just push my breaker to where it goes in place. Make sure it snaps in just like that. Just like that. And it's in place. Now you can turn it back on and it's on. Now the final test. Um, I'll show you that it's hot. Get yourself one of these or a multimeter. Green means it's no power. Red means it's hot. See? So now we go upstairs and test the outlet that this cable goes to where your dryer is gonna set. And we'll go do that now. We're back where the dryer is at, where your outlet comes out with your tester, it's on. Now you got power. Now, what I was telling you earlier, that if it would have tripped, maybe because there's wires here connecting, I mean touching, it'll trip as soon as you try to turn it back on. But like I said, I opened this and there was no wires tripped. I mean touching, now I got power to it. Now what I wanna do is, connect back my dryer and give it a try okay that's in and there you go dryer is working okay so let me recap just to show you once again my dryer was drying, it had clothes in it, and all of a sudden it just stopped. I went and checked the, the breaker down there, it was tripped, tried to reset it, it would not reset. So it could tell you two few things to do would be either your dryers tripping it, so what you would do is unplug it and try to reset your breaker. If your breaker resets, it is your dryer that's tripping your breaker. If it does not reset with your dryer being uh, unplugged, then there's something wrong in your wiring. Something in your wiring here, throughout going through the wall, going all the way to the box, the wires are touching where it's making it trip. If you're possibly sure that's nothing wrong with your wiring, then take your breaker off and try to reset it and like my case it was the breaker that was bad so hope this video works helps you thanks for watching to next time I'll show you is how to uh, remove that panel but it's real simple just going to explain it real quick there's a couple of screws that go in here on your side of your panels just keep in mind that when you get the panel out make sure it doesn't touch anything in your box because everything there is hot so, like I said, thanks again for watching, and hopefully this video helps you out troubleshooting your circuit breaker for your dryer, electric dryer. Till next time.